Many times you hear people say, if these walls could talk. This can be said about many buildings, especially the main gym in the Van Vliet Center. Over its storied history, the main gym has seen tears and laughter, victory and defeat. The main gym is not just a building. For over half a century, it has been a home to students, athletes and scholars alike. And today, we turn off the lights for the last time. But before we do, we look back at the stories that will be forever held within these walls. The university broke ground in 1958 and two years later on May 14, 1960, the doors were officially opened on the Jubilee Physical Education Building. In the heart of this building was the Varsity Gym, now known as the Main Gym. Back then, it was used exclusively for men's activities while the women were in the West Gym, which was known as the Ladies or Women's Gym. Throughout the years, the main gym was the venue for day-to-day -day activity classes, for the writing of nerve-wracking final exams, for many sporting, intramural and recreational events, for CIAU-CIS championships, as well as for many other thrilling and stirring events. It is believed that the first ever game played in the main gym was between the Golden Bears basketball team and the Harlem Stars on November 10, 1960. During the 1960s, a variety of demonstrations related to sporting activities and dance were held in the main gym during Varsity Guest Weekend when the general public were visitors to the campus. We had an organization related to physical education that put on a competition with high school basketball teams. 32 teams participated at that time, and we were able to accommodate them. So this is something that we really enjoyed doing. 1967 saw the Varsity Gym host the first of its 13 championships when it held the Men's National Volleyball Championship. Jeff Elliott was here, former great international athlete. He was coaching gymnastics and he brought in the Russian and the Soviet team, gymnasts, best in the world. And right down there were the, were the uh, uh, parallel bars and the Russian was doing, a, well, a Soviet, was doing a, a routine and he was standing on his hands on the bars and then he did one hand and he started to lose his, hand, his balance outside the bar and he, that man just literally walked on and willed himself not to fall off those bars. I can still remember that. Later that year, to celebrate Canada's centennial year in 1967, the University of Alberta was chosen to host Second Century Week. Maury Van Vliet and Ed Zamrau coordinated Olympiad at 67. 450 athletes came from all across Canada to participate in seven national championships, four of which were held in varsity gym, including basketball, gymnastics, judo, and wrestling. In 1968, the Canadian Amateur Wrestling Association held the Canadian Championships and Olympic Trials in the main gym from March 15th to 17th. The start of the 70s saw something new in the gym, which left it changed forever. In January of 1971, during a basketball game against the UBC Thunderbirds, Chuck Moser introduced the great University Bear of Alberta, affectionately known as Gooba. He treated the crowd with great gusto and then on his first attempt threw a basketball from center court through the hoop without touching the rim. 1974 saw the second championship held in the main gym when once again it held the men's national volleyball championship. It wouldn't see another for 19 years. I think in 76, 77 when we won Canada West, um, that obviously when you achieve a goal that you'd set out for yourself, you know, seven months earlier, uh, and you were able to do that, although we went to Nationals and bowed out in two straight games. Uh, that wasn't as important as winning in front of our home crowd with uh, the gym packed and uh, uh, thanking those people for their support over the year. The Commonwealth Games came to Edmonton in 1978 and the main gym had a royal visitor when Prince Philip came to watch some of the wrestling events as Canada won several gold medals. The next decade brought the gym something new that put it on a national map. The 1980-81 men's volleyball team, led by none other than a young Terry Daniluk, was the first team to play in the main gym and win a national championship, even though they didn't win it at home. It would still be 14 years before a University of Alberta team would be crowned a national champion in the main gym. 
During the main gym's first three decades, it saw itself emerge as a shrine to the history of the University of Alberta athletics, to the city, and to the country as a whole. But if these walls could talk, they would tell you that it was just getting started and the memories from the next 20 years would eclipse those of the 30 years preceding it. We know that there is half a century of history in these walls. We've already heard the stories from the first three decades. This can make you think that we are halfway through, but in truth, we barely started. The end of the 20th century and the beginning of the 21st brought more excitement, happiness, and memories to this gym than anyone probably ever expected. In 1993, the gym once again became the host to a national final when the men's national volleyball championships were held here. It was the first national championship in the main gym since 1974. Then came the 1993-94 season that would forever change the reputation of all teams that played in the main gym. In the 34 years prior, only one team that played in the main gym had won a national championship. Over the next 16 years, 16 national championships would be won. It was the Bears' legendary coach Don Horwood's first national championship in the 1993-94 season that started it all off. The Bears would continue to be a dominant force in the West and win another two national championships in 94, 95, and 2001, 2002. 93, 94, the first national championship, we played the Canada West final at home against UBC, uh, best of uh, three series. And uh, the first night, the Friday night, I came up to the gym we, as I walked in. Uh, I usually get there about an hour before game time. And uh, most, most of us know that uh, games in CIS aren't sold out, but as I walked to the gym and I noticed the lineup out the building and down the road and I thought, what the heck? And I thought maybe the hockey team was playing as well and I walked in and these people were all lined up to go into the gym, into the main gym. And we played Friday and Saturday night against UBC. They turned away a thousand fans each night and the place was just electric. You couldn't even hear yourself in there. But the women weren't going to be left behind. So the 94-95 season saw women's volleyball coach Lori Eisler lead the Pandas to their first national championship. Not only was this the first national championship won in the main gym by a University of Alberta team, she started a dynasty that would see the Pandas volleyball team win six consecutive national championships. Of those six, the main gym was the host to no less than four of the finals in 95, 97, 98, and 99. They also went on to win the 06-07 National Championship, making them the team with the most championships out of the four teams that play in the main gym. A lot has happened in this gym. Um, we've had some great wins. We've had some devastating losses. We've, uh, you know, I've had my, my children have grown up here. <laughs> you know, a lot, a lot has happened. And, uh, you know, obviously the championships are some pretty incredible memories of having done it right here in this gym with a crowd that was so supportive and I, that, you know, for sure will live with us forever. I'm going to miss this place a lot. By the end of the century, the main gym was starting to get old. The bleachers were worn, so to upgrade that, they would need to replace the floor as the old hardwood would not be able to sustain the weight. In the summer of 1998, $500,000 was spent on renovating the gym. The original maple floor was pulled out and replaced, and the wooden bench seating was replaced with tiers of individual plastic seats, providing a seating capacity of 2,714. In 1999, it was Panda's basketball's turn to shine. Under the guidance of ex-Panda star Trix Baker, the women's basketball team went on to win their first and only national championship. They would host the women's national in the main gym for the next two years, and even though they were never able to win it at home, they definitely put on a great show and had moments that they will never forget. The second year that we hosted, um, we beat the number one team. We were ranked eighth. Um, we beat Laval. So, you know, we won the semifinal, and then we got to play Regina in the final game. And um, Lois Hole came to the, to the gym to, to support us, and there was a couple uh, Mormon guys that used to come to all of our games, and they had tricks for premier written on a sign, you know, and it was, the whole gym was full of, of um, green and gold, because Regina was green and gold, it was packed, 
And we played the game at 11 o'clock in the morning. Even though we didn't win the game, to be able to know that we had all that community support, that was great. But since the turn of the century, volleyball has continued to reign king in the main gym. From 2002 to 2010, the main gym has hosted four national volleyball championships. Terry Danilek, the player who led the Bears to their first ever championship in 81, came back to coach the Bears volleyball team in 1991 and since then has won five national championships, including the 02 and 09 championships, which they won in the main gym. You know, there's a couple of games that really stick out. 1997, uh, when our Can-Am Challenge was just sort of taken root, uh, we hosted uh, the NCAA champion Stanford Cardinals. We were the defending Canadian champions, and, and we touted that match to be the, you know, the best in North America. And you couldn't move in this gym. There were so many people, and the Bears played so well. We won in five, and that was one of the single games that I'll always remember. The most electric moment and one of the most electric moments ever was when the Bears played Laval here two years ago for the Canadian Championship. Both teams undefeated. Never lost the whole season. Imagine that. And they came together and the Bears won. And it was packed that night too. I brought my grandchildren. Oh, it was wonderful. As of January 2011, 40 national championship banners of various teams hang proudly along the walls of the main gym. Of these, 17 are for the four sports played in the main gym. Now the teams will move to their new home to win new banners and create new memories to be held within new walls. As for these walls, if they could talk, well, they would tell you what I've told you. It's just the tip of the iceberg.